Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here and welcome back to some more EVE Online and this is uh, how I like to see my mining um, some massive scordite from my drones quite a lot of dense, dense feldspar right here in the belt and then even a nice uh, rich Plagio Class A um, asteroid that can uh, last for around 5, uh, five cycles it looks like uh, it's gonna be a good haul now, uh, last week it was pretty quiet in EVE Online and then all of a sudden CCP game, uh, comes out with uh, three dev blocks and a new patch, so I got some work to do. But before that, I have a live events warning for you guys uh, from the F-Court mailing list. Uh, the Guristas are looking to run away. Should be tomorrow on the 25th at around 1500 EVE time. So if you want to uh, check out the live event or uh, if you want to... Um, to join one uh, I would say um, just join the live events channel and try to be ready tomorrow at 1500 I myself will of course try to be there to cover it in the covered up ship but it's uh, it might be just a bit early I'm going to do everything I can to be there though uh, hopefully it will work out now let's get on to some more uh, EVE online information and uh, we had some dev blocks so let's get over there uh, first of all, the latest one, which uh, just came out today. Uh, a new community spotlight about the EVE blogosphere. Um, of course, EVE blogs, uh, I have to say, in my first year I've read a ton of them. Um, we get a lot of great uh, bloggers in EVE Online. And uh, yeah, if, if you're new to EVE Online and you want to learn about uh, some aspects of the game that you either don't know anything about it or even if you don't play those aspects of the game blocks are ab absolutely great uh, they're filled to the brim with great information great stories and uh, uh, they've definitely helped me a lot to stay motivated and play the game even um, during some some rougher times you know you can find so much information on there absolutely great yeah the if blogosphere definitely something to keep an eye out on and um, Great to see that uh, CCP does a community spotlight for these guys. Uh, next up, more from you and less from the evil nasty NPCs. This is a, a small dev blog about uh, an extra change that's coming for the winter expansion. Namely, two new items will be uh, produced by the players then instead of uh, seeded by NPCs. And we're talking about containers and survey probes. Uh, I think that's pretty interesting. If you want to know some more details, check out the dev blog. Uh, but uh, we get a list uh, with uh, what is it? Um, some capacity when these will be repackaged, or some volumes, I should say, when they will be repackaged. Um, location for blueprints and cost of blueprints. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting for industrialists. Uh, not only do we get several new destroyers uh, to have an eye out. Um, to produce uh, from uh, after the expansion but we looks like we'll also have uh, container BPOs and uh, survey pro BPOs uh, personally I would think that containers could be a pretty interesting industry because these might get blown up and used up uh, at a decent pace so yeah that's that's something to keep an eye on if you're an industrialist and uh, you might want to see if you're interested in uh, in starting in these new industries that will open up and let's go back to the list of uh, the dev blocks because this one was in my opinion the most important one fast forward which is about the patch we had yesterday and uh, i'm just going to quickly check that i get no pirates close to me doesn't look like it um yeah we had a patch yesterday where ccp introduced some changes to the faction warfare system uh, mostly I think it was a nerf to the to the amount of loyalty points they could have and uh, several new mechanics were introduced in order to try and curb the activity of a lot of uh, faction warfare players um, that were basically playing on both sides uh, in order to try and maximize the amount of loyalty points uh, they could gather so the reason they've uh, done this according to the dev blog is first of all that a lot of people um, were very concerned at the rate at which they were already losing faction warfare players because of all the announced changes 
So CCP just decided to say, well, this is the new system we're going to work on and it, we're going to deploy it right away. Have fun with uh, some new faction warfare mechanics. And the second one is an implicit uh, confirmation from CCP that uh, those guys in faction warfare have had a serious impact on the Plex in, on the open market, right there, on the rising prices of Plex on the open market. Um, and uh, yeah, that this is... Uh, an, an action that they've also taken in order to, to try and, and stop uh, the enormous inflation that's been going on on the Plex market. Um, interestingly enough, um, they do iterate indeed that Faction Warfare is not an ISK faucet. Uh, they're really only making loyalty points, but the new system was so lucrative that a decent amount of highly organized players uh, decided to play both sides in order to maximize the amount of loyalty points and ISK that they could make. And of course, once once people get organized and find a nice system that brings them a lot of ISK, they don't just go away or keep all that ISK in their wallet. They maintain that organization uh, and decided to start to buy, buy and hoard Plex, which of course meant that enormous spike, which I've covered several times on EVE talk, up to 700 million in JITA. Um, yeah, this was, like has been said by many players as well, due to the, uh, the lucrative business that Faction Warfare had become all of a sudden. And uh, CCP right here implicitly states that this was apparently indeed a problem for them because it was starting to impact the fun and the ability of other uh, players to, uh, to play EVE Online. And uh, yeah, they si decided to step in on that. So um, I have to say that's that's pretty interesting in my opinion uh, that CCP would uh, would do this. Um, al although, like they said, faction warfare is not an ISK thing, uh, faucet, so it doesn't add any ISK in the game. It seems that the, the ability for these people to make ISK was so out of whack compared to all of the other activities in EVE Online. Uh, that the CCP had to step in right away and so hopefully hopefully this will uh, mean uh, at least a stabilization of Plex prices if not um, a lowering of the prices after the expansion and oops sounds like uh, someone is trying to reach me on Steam so I'm going to uh, make it a, a short one from here on out um, yeah in general I just wanted to finish with my uh, my views on the state of the game. I'm actually very excited about what EVE Online is gon going to be like after the winter expansion. Uh, so many exciting changes are coming. Uh, new ships, new mechanics, uh, serious overhaul of the UI, uh, continuous improvements. Uh, I think CCP with this dev blog on the faction warfare changes shows that they are listening to the players and that they want to keep the game uh, fun and accessible to everyone and want to try and keep it as fair as possible as well um, and I think it's it's looking pretty damn good for EVE Online at the moment and I'm very excited to see what the winter expansion will bring uh, so yeah there you go guys uh, live events warning a uh, couple dev blogs and uh, really looking forward to playing EVE Online after the expansion I'll see you all next time